Praise the Lord. God bless you for watching. Feel free to share and invite somebody to watch. They'll be blessed. Hallelujah. the Lord wherever you are. Yes, we love you, Jesus. the Lord. Hey. Hey. Ira ba son tele ga don si aba. Ira kon tele bo Hey. Rata ya baba. Racing tele bo si aha. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to play that song one more time. And just worship wherever you are. Just focus on Jesus right now. Don't be distracted. It's only a three-minute song. Just get lost in his presence. 
get lost in His presence. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burden unto you. All my cares and burden unto you. Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Yes, Lord. That has troubled my mind. All my cares and burden unto you. I roll. That's right. All my cares and burdens unto you. I roll. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Jesus. Jesus. Father, Father, oh yes, Lord, hey, Rekarabo Sibra Hakondia, Rate Kete Lebasia Kata, Rontolobo Sianda, Ayaka Yaba Seke, Father, ho ho, ha yes, Lord, Father. Just hey, hey, yeah. worship the Lord somebody. Yes, Lord. Flow by my soul. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Yes, Lord. Situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burden unto you, I roll. Yes, yes, he cared about I roll. All my cares and cared about I love you, Jesus. Just worship the Lord somebody. Hey, oh my God, I feel the presence of God so strong in this place. I'm supposed to be sleeping. I just got back like three hours ago from Minnesota and God wants me to come online. I was thinking I was, I was going to go straight to bed, but... I'm sure there's somebody here that God wants to bless. That's why he wants me to come online. So we're just going to worship a little bit and go as the Spirit is leading. Leading us. Hallelujah. Just worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I love you, Father. Just worship. I'm actually also watching the program from Minnesota on my screen. I told you it's already on YouTube for those of you 
You see it? It's on my TV screen showing. And it's so clear too. In case of those of you that wanna if you go on YouTube, you'll find the videos. No, you are so wonderful. Yes, Lord. Without you, oh Lord, I am lost. Hey, without you, Lord, I am lost. Without you, oh Lord. Yes, Lord, we are the most, yeah. I am lost. Without you, Lord, I am lost. Hey, he's beautiful. He's a wonderful God. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Lord, you are so beautiful. Just worship the Lord. Lord, you are so wonderful. Lord, you are so beautiful. Lord, you are. So wonderful. Yes, Lord. Without you, oh Lord, I am lost. I'm lost without you, Lord. Without you, oh Lord, I am lost. Without you, Throat is so dry. Thank you, Mama. Okay, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Ah, my throat just got dry. I started coughing. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I am loved. <coughs> mm. Mm, thank you, Jesus. And play another song. Mm.
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. No, no, no. Yes, Lord. For you are great. You are greatly to be praised. Yes, Lord, you are great, you are greatly to be praised. Oh, I love you, Jesus. You are wonderful, you are worthy of my praise. Somebody worship Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, uh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Jesus You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy of my prayer. Aha. You are Jesus. Aha. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I love this song. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody call his name yes. Jesus, ah. Jesus. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> Jesus. Yes, Lord. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what the Ruth said that. Ruth's comment. She says, Please be careful, everyone. There are agents and scammers with us tonight. Begging for money and sending out friend requests. I don't know why they do that. Even while I'm live on Facebook, they're doing it. <laughs> and people actually fall for that stuff. Some of you fall for it. You see me live. And you see somebody using my name to send you a friend request, and you accept, and I'm live. And they ask you for money, and sending them money, and I'm live. <laughs> How are people so desperate for a prophecy or something? Those people that are doing that right now, the ones that are sending you guys friend requests with my name right now, that are sending you friend requests right now, and sending you messages for money, within three days, if they don't stop and confess, they will die. 
in the name of Jesus. From now to what? What's today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The ones that are sending you friend requests now, if they don't stop and confess and repent, they will die. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. And anyone that doesn't like this prayer, just pray. You are one of them. It's time for you to repent. As I have said it, so shall it be. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Hallelujah! In the most ya, Jesus, ha ha ha. Ya in the most ya. Hey. Wrap up a yakando your boss, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I love that name, Jesus. Powerful name. Hallelujah. My God. Aha. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. God bless all of you. God bless all of you for watching. Feel free to share. And invite somebody to watch. They'll be blessed tonight. Like I said, I'm supposed to be sleeping. Because I just came back from Minnesota around... I think we came around 7 or 8 p.m. And I'm supposed to be sleeping. Because it was a long weekend. But I've just been on fire. My whole body is on fire. And God wants me online to come preach, pray, bless people. So that's what I'm going to do. God bless all of you. Make sure you share. And thank you for always watching. Thank you for always sharing. It is well with all of you. I love you guys. God bless you. And don't just be someone that watches only. Make sure you're also living right. Make sure you're also loving God, staying away from sin. Okay? Let's not just be hearers only. Let's be doers of the word. Thank you, Jesus. So today I know that I'm going to pray for a bunch of people. And I know we're going to take testimonies. But before then, I'm going to read some scriptures. Because these scriptures, they're coming to me. Mark chapter 1. <clears throat> from verse 21. I'm going to read it in King James Version. Mark 1 from verse 21 down. Okay. It says, And they went into Capernaum. God bless all those that are always helping me post scriptures when I'm studying the word or reading the Bible. It is well with all of you. It says, And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught as Jesus Christ. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. Play my music. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hi, yeah, yeah. These songs, they do something to me. All right. So it says, and they went into the into Capernaum. I'm reading Mark chapter one from verse twenty one. In case you just came on, and they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue. There's somebody here. You want to be so close to God. But you don't like to read your Bible. And God says, I should tell you, 
that you cannot be close to him if you don't read your Bible, if you don't study the word. I don't know who you are, but I pray that God will help you. And as from now on, you will study the word and you will understand what you're reading in Jesus' name. Amen. And they went into Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. Meaning his teachings were different from what they were used to hearing. Not like the other teachers. You understand? He was very unique in the way he taught. He, he, said, he said he taught them. Let me read that in another translation. The NLT said the people were amazed at his teaching. For he taught with real authority. Quite unlike the teachers of religious law. So this is a different kind of teaching. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out. Unclean spirit is a demon. Evil spirit. Saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Leave us alone. Why are you bothering us? You know how they do sometimes when they see me too. That's what they do. Why are you bothering us? Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Some of you have seen that here on Facebook when I call somebody I want to pray and the spirits start to manifest. They say that. Leave her alone. She's mine. What are you doing? Leave us alone. This is still the same as when Jesus came in, in flesh. You understand? It's not different. It's still the same thing that's happening till now. It says, leave us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? Have you come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. See, these demons, they know. Ah. Uh, they know, they know, like me, they know that God sent me to do what I'm doing. If you are not sent by God, they know you. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? It says, we know who you are. Yes. And thou come to destroy us. I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. Shut up, and come out. You know me, I shout. I'm sure Jesus wasn't shouting. Jesus was probably saying, Hold your peace. Come out of him. He didn't say it in Jesus' name, because that's him, right? But me, I have to say it in Jesus' name. You have to say it in Jesus' name. He don't have Jesus Christ. You no, know, he didn't talk too much. He made this so easy. Hold your peace and come out. It's a command. Once he says it, they have to leave. That's what I'm saying. He has given me the same power. When I say come out or you are free, you are free. Unless you don't believe. But I believe what I just said. Hold your peace. Come out of that man. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. The spirit, when he had said that, the person would have started shouting, ah, ah, and maybe drop the person on the floor. Whoa. And then he'll come out. Let me see if they have it in a different way. In NLT. At that, the evil spirit screamed and threw the man into a convulsion and then came out of him. You guys, okay, like now, look at what is showing on my TV now. From the program in Minnesota, look at, look at that. Are you seeing that lady manifesting? These were saying, no, no, no. This is exactly what I'm reading. It's, it's saying, no, I'm not, not, not. it's the same thing that I'm just reading to you. This is the program that we did two, three days ago. Yeah, and I'm sure before you know, when I said cut off the head, I'm sure she would have fallen down and she would get up not knowing who she, what she was doing. 
So you still see what we are reading in the Bible happening now. I just left it on to be plain. So we threw the mat. We would have done all that. Sometimes they have to fall. Allow them to fall. Because sometimes some ushers, they block the fall. I remember Pastor Isaac was trying to command a demon to your back on the floor in the program that we just did. And while the demon was, the, the person was going their back on the floor, an usher stopped it. Like sometimes you don't block these four, let them fall. That's right, let them fall. He said, At that, the evil spirit screamed, threw the man into a convulsion, and then came out of him. And then came out of him. Meaning, at the end of the day, the spirit did what Jesus commanded him to do out. Whether you fall or you shake your body, do whatever, at the end of the day, you have to come out because. Jesus has given you that command to come out. You can't stay there no more. That's right. I see Pastor Isaac is coming on. Pastor, I thought you were sleeping. I just mentioned your name, boom, and I see you on. <laughs> he was tired just now. I, don't, I didn't know he was still awake. God bless you, Pastor Isaac Samuel II. It says, And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? My God, what is this? What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they do obey him. <laughs> Pastor said, I'm not sleeping, no. <laughs> oh, man of God. God bless you, man of God. We had a great time in Minnesota. Pastor and I, oh my God, 12 hours, two days in a row, back to back. It wasn't easy, but God strengthened us. We love what we do. We love seeing people free. Oh, look at this woman. She's removing things from her face. I don't know. You guys probably remember it. Um, that's when I said, take it off. Remove everything. Wow. When we see these things, we're like, wow. See power. Power, no be powder. Pastor, power, no be powder. <laughs> Pastor Isaac, I say power, no be powder. That's right. It says, what thing is this? What new doctrine... Oh, Pastor, I put it on the big screen TV oh, in case you want to come and see. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I told you guys. But we came back home from the first night. Saturday in Minnesota, right? But we came back to the hotel. Pastor Isaac was watching <laughs> his video. <laughs> He's already laughing. <laughs> Pastor, watch, watch, watch. I call him. I say, Pastor, what are you doing? I'm watching the video. In the morning, Pastor... <laughs> And you know, we had a better quality video this time. And it was done by my ladies, my followers. I call them my daughters because I know how they were when they first came. And just seeing how they are growing. And now they are being so useful in the house of God. They are helping out. They are doing... My God. All of you here, there's something you can do for God. Like there's just something you can do. Discover that gift, that talent, that thing that God blessed you with. And use it in the house of God. See, to the glory of God. Because even the professionals that we were hiring were not even giving us the kind of quality we needed. But in-house, just this ladies. My God. Even the ushers, I'm looking at them. They were so dedicated. These are just my followers that follow me. Look at them. Just people that follow me saying they want to usher. Stood for hours carrying people. And a lot of manifestations happen in Minnesota. These ladies really did a good job. My God. Mm -mm. Sometimes they were probably tired. But they were still working. When we are praying for people. They cannot really focus on the prayer. Because somebody is manifesting. They have to go attend to the person. This is service. You don't think God sees all these things? God is amazed. Because, because of everybody's effort. 
the event was successful. You cannot take credit for it by yourself. It was a combination of everybody's effort. It's a teamwork. You understand? <coughs> it's, a t- it's teamwork. So if you know you, you got something that can help, even financially too, that's a good way to help. If you see that, a pl- like now, look at Minnesota. All these people contributed and were able to come. And you see what happened for these two days. If you, you are someone that God has blessed you with so much money, and that's all you really can do. Bring money for programs to be done. Build churches. Do something. Yeah. It, you will be happy when you see that your money was used in a good way. To the glory of God. You will be happy that people were able to be delivered because you brought money. Or you paid for a venue or something. It's a good way of spending money. I'm just saying... There's so many ways that people can 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 do something that will impact lives. Don't just sit down there and say, "Oh, there's nothing I can do. I don't know what to do." <laughs> don't worry, I, maybe someday. No, there's something you can do. God put something inside of you. See, at the end of the day, when we die and go, God will ask us that gift I gave gave you. What did you do with it? That gift of singing. What did you do with it? That gift of um, video, this thing, like knowing how to do video, what did you do with it? That gift of um, wisdom, I gave you so much wisdom, what did you do with it? I gave you all these gifts, you didn't do anything with it. You were feeling too big, too proud, or you were just too money hungry, or uh, what did you do with it? What? See, somebody says she was happy to serve as an usher. God bless you, sweetie. Jomaya, that's not even the first time you've been my usher, right? Like, what did you do with it? Did you just sit down there and let this gift waste? You didn't even do anything? You understand? So, check yourself. Some of you know you are very good at something. But you're not doing anything with it. And there's somebody out there praying to have that gift you have. Saying, Lord, if only you can give me this voice that I can sing well or something. I will be singing every day. I will worship. I will do this. But you have that gift. And you hide it. Uh Uh-huh. Discover your talent or your gift before it's too late. Because you'll give account for it. What did you do with it? Like me, I'm so talented. God gave me so many gifts. Even at the program, ask the girls, they'll tell you, my eyes are everywhere. I know how I want the video to be. This was our first time, but we need, we're going to make it better. But I I know how things should be. I know how people should dress and look. I know, I just know these things. And I use all those things to put it, ask Pastor Isaac, he'll tell you. I'm not just a woman of God that comes to preach, pray. I put pretty much everything together. And my eyes are everywhere. I'm telling you. A multi- Pastor was even saying it today that you're multi, multi, you can multitask or multi talent. Pastor, Pastor, what that word you use today? And it's true. I use it all. I use all of it. To, I'm telling you, I use all my gifts, all of it. Well, like when I was going to my bishop's church, he would tell you. Anyone would tell you, I promoted that church. Oh my God! I used every skill I knew how to that I had in me to promote the church, to promote every. Even now, I still refer people to the church. I always give Bishop ideas, even till today. If I find a new idea, I tell him too. Like, all this I give from heaven. I use them well. Don't be a hater and hide your gift because I don't. Use it to the glory of God. Pasta! Pasta! I was just telling that you call me multi gifted, I be multi talented, I be multi talented. I bet you say what it is. Come say hi now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I didn't say you don't sleep. Uh. You know this is what they do now. We don't sleep like that. <laughs> wow, God bless you, everyone. I was telling them of using their gift. Like, yeah. Look at what these girls did. Look at the video now. I was, watching I was, it. I was seeing it. This is awesome. I said, let me come down and see it on the big screen. This is amazing. This is better than any one we've done. Though. Yes, the best. Well, the we pay best. so much money and they still don't give us what we need. Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm telling you. Some of them here, they have some gifts that yes. God has given them that can yes. help. 
with the work of God, you know, but True. they don't want to use it. But they will be criticizing other people. Right. <laughs> if you have a gift, the truth is that God has given every one of us gifts. That's things right. that we can do to take the kingdom to the next level. Like me, I've always told that I said, I can't do what you do. Like me, when I go up to preach, I'm not looking at anything. I'm just doing my thing. But she's having her phone. She's looking the dressing. She's looking at this. She's putting everything together. It's just amazing. And everybody really needs to bless every one of you. Everyone needs to find their place, find their position in God and do something. Now, those ladies, I was, so, I was thinking about it. Those ladies that gave, all the people, not just ladies, the people that gave to make the program in Minnesota a success. Now, their names are written in heaven. That's right. For every miracle, for every soul that was saved, for every life that was touched, it will not only be credited to the account of the woman of God or the man of God that ministered, it will also be credited to the account of those people that gave. They were part of it. And you know the beautiful thing about the, the blessings of God? The reward is not only in heaven. That's right. You will start seeing the reward here. Yeah. In financial blessings, in marital health. blessings, in health blessings, in long life. Doors you, opening. Opening doors, exactly. Protection. Breakthroughs, protection. You will experience those things right here on earth before you go to heaven to enjoy the eternal bliss of heaven. That's right. That's exactly what it is. So it's important to make your life count. Let your gift, let people feel the impact of the gift that God has given to you. That's right. Like the woman of God was saying. Look at Jemiah, the one that was just saying, um, she liked being an usher. That's her then. Yeah, that's her, right? Yeah, Cornelia. Jemiah, are you seeing yourself on the big screen TV? Look at yeah, all these ladies. Her. And, and that's Andrea too, Andrea, right? Yeah, yeah. She served too. And that was the first They night. were standing, working, serving, you know. Behind. And that's not their first time serving. No? Yeah, because we can't do these things all alone. All by ourselves. Yeah, we need people. And you know, just like the woman of God was saying, maybe all you have is money. Yes. You are gifted. You know how to make money. You are blessed with money. You could use your money to be a blessing to the kingdom. That's right. You can use it, you know, give to make programs like this it's not fair maybe uh, the, the woman of god is coming to your city and then she has to spend her money you know to do a program in Still your city bless you and, and bless you pray for you spend time countless hours you know be a blessing to you and then leave and then you know go broke it doesn't make sense the bible says paul sows the seed apollos waters but god gives the increase so everybody has a role to play everybody can do something to make it happen Everybody really, really can. And so when you discover what God has given to you, you begin to use it. Make use of it. Bless someone's life. Change somebody's life. Let me tell you something. The reason why you are here on earth, because sometimes people tend to wonder, why am I here? Why am I here? Why, why, why did God create you? Why are you on this planet? The reason why you are here is to make an impact in the life of someone else. That's right. That's the reason why you are here. The truth is that the day you stand before God, God is going to ask you, what did you do with the 60 years I gave to you, the That's 70 right. years, the 80 years? That's right. What did you do? Whose life did you touch? They went to hide it under the ground. Like That's that it, now. yeah. The man who hid the, the talent that God gave, to, uh, that he had, he had one talent, he went to hide it. Then mm. God said, what did you do with the talent I gave to you? Mm. So, and it's important for you to be a blessing, touch somebody's life. When God is assessing like this program, there's going to be an analysis. Who made okay, this program? We'll say program was for my iPhone. We'll watch that too. Yeah, he, he did a great job. Yeah, he did. Two he did days. a great job. A great, great, great job. You know, some because we had a lot of manifestations. Yes. And this was kind of like the first program, Woman of God, that we so had many. like manifestations. Because we did during, a lot of deliverance. Yeah, during the program itself. This is the first that we did it like this. And it was awesome. And all the ushers, I appreciate everybody. Yes. The woman of God was talking about a particular incident where that lady, right? Oh, you heard it. That's what you. Yeah. That's what I saw your name in the video. Yeah. <laughs> did I call you? How did you know I was talking about you? No, I'll be spiritual, man. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I said that, I saw your name on the video. The, the truth is that you know, and another thing people need to learn when you're working with servants of God, first you yourself, you have to be in the spirit. Look up. Prophet Shama Burnett. God bless you, prophet. God bless you, prophet. Good to have you here. God bless you, sir. <laughs> you know, it's important for you to be in the spirit yourself, those that are working with servants of God, because it's a spiritual journey. It's a spiritual work. 
and you have to connect in the spirit. Like I was saying, I was saying to that demon, I said, you're back on the floor. And then the usher was going to hold the person and stop in the person. That was not, it was not right. And I shouted, I said, who is this usher? You know, no, people don't understand when we do these things. Some people think we are rude. Some people think we are, no, they don't understand how spiritual spirit. things work. No, when we're in the spirit, because some of those things, they bring us out of the spirit. Yes. So if we have to shout to remain in the spirit. Oh, Professor Russ, he misses us. Oh, wow. Remember I went to Nigeria yeah, and he came? Yeah, that was so Nigeria, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we miss you too. We miss you too. It was a great time we had together in Lagos. Man, Nigeria was so much fun. It was, man. <laughs> I was rocking. This is my rock. I was just rocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Man, great. we've traveled. Pastor, this yes, year sir. alone. We've traveled. I was counting. We've traveled to over different fifteen places. Man, we've gone 15. to a lot of places this year. More Plus, we 15. still preach on Facebook. Oh. Yeah, yep. it's not easy. Money has been spent. Lives have so, changed. True. So many traveling, traveling, traveling different, different. Me and you, plane, plane, plane. Plane. Oh, we just keep. Today flying. we slept so. Man. My God. <laughs> We're coming back. We slept there. Eh? Slept knockout in the plane, man. <laughs> we had fun in Minnesota. Well, it was great. It and was it's great. cold. I like cold. I don't like snow, but I like cold. Pastor, Pastor, how you like the cold? You know, say me, um, the excess cold now, no lie. I don't like the one that's too cold. You don't like excess love. When it's too cold. (laughs) (laughs) When I go go there, all right. When it's too cold, man. I don't know how people live in Minnesota. Hmm. That's why bring your head closer, (laughs) man. You know where it's the big cameras Big cameras now, right? Right, right. We we'll work on them now so that even at home you can be using the other cameras. We we'll yeah, work on that later. Yeah, but but we love you guys. Yeah, and we're glad we came. I don't mm-hmm. know when I'll come there again. See, the thing is, I'm led by the spirit of God. If God says come there tomorrow, you will see yeah, me. Yeah, definitely. But for now, we did well, and you can watch the videos if you missed it because the power never leaves the video. I've, I saw a lot of testimonies on the videos. Oh, when you were even praying for, what was that? I said you watch the witchcraft warfare prayers against witches this morning and I got delivered from it and I removed things. Wow, and she was at the program. Wow. She came out from the program and watched it and wow. she said she started removing things from her body. Wow. Because she was ushering there. That mm, 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 yeah. So she was not really tapping into yeah. the prayer. My God, she came back home and watched it. Wow. I told, And I was just saying it. I said the power never leaves the video. True. We've got so many testimonies. I'm telling you. And so many people watched. Mm-hmm. All over the world, people watched. People watch. See, people watch these videos because they know if if there's people know when there is power somewhere. You True. know, you can just feel it at in your own house. You are vomiting. True. You are removing things from your body. Yes. You are peeing. Yes. What is making you do that? True. It has to be the power of definitely, God. Definitely. Definitely. That's right. Definitely. So it was not just for people in Minnesota. This program was for people all, all over, over the, the world. world. Exactly. All over the world. All over. And it was awesome. And Pastor, I, I've I've recruited him to the twelve hour anointing. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've put I've put twelve hour, twelve hours anointing in his life. So now, nah, Pastor, did you even did on my birthday? I did twelve hours three yeah, days. Right? First now, four even days. Nigeria, we did twelve hours. And now today when we were t- we were talking because I told my girls yesterday that I will do a twenty four hours soon. And today I was telling Pastor Isaac, I said, you know, when I start saying something, I'm gonna do it. And I put on Facebook that who's ready for 24 hours Holy Ghost Encounter. A lot of people were like, me, me, me. So let me ask you guys, who's ready for 24 hours <laughs> deliverance, healing, and Holy Ghost Encounter? If you are ready, type me. Pastor, how about you? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, they will leave us and go and sleep and come back. Me, you know me. As long as there's action, I go there. Nothing happens. As long 24 as 24 hours. Action. That's like, let's say we're starting at 12 p.m. Mm-hmm. on Saturday. Mm-hmm. We'll be there till 12 a.m. Sunday, yeah, and 12 p.m. Sunday. Mm-hmm. My God, it's not hard though. It's not. It's not. It's not impossible. But for me, as long as there's action, you know, things to keep see, me going. So, see, a lot of people say me, they can do it. Ah, look at you guys. <laughs> they are really serious. So. <laughs> wow. So you can. Can you come to the program or you will just watch online? Because watching online, there is cheating. You could be sleeping. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you're on your sleeping house, on your bed. They will shout, hey, hey, when they wake up, who don't know, Mary. <laughs> I have to tell you. <laughs> I'm talking about people that will come to the program, program and sit there with us. Not people that will watch online and sleep for one hour and then come back on. No, people that will be there in the building. 
Because it's different when you're there. I see a lot of people saying, me, 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 me. Fast or see, then plenty. Of. Wow. <laughs> Jumaya says, we like action. Is that long right. as action. Right. And the funny thing is, I've made 12 hours so easy that people don't even... Even on Sunday, many people hey. don't want to leave. <laughs> What's that? Because <laughs> you say as long as there is food, she's ready. I was even saying everybody should fast and go, <laughs> and I will feed them at the yeah, end of food, it. No, that one definitely. Because if they are eating, they will sleep. Food makes people sleep. Yeah, maybe not towards. They the have to be fasting. You come hungry, man. Mm -hmm. Because when you eat, so somebody say we're in Houston. Oh, how did she know I'm gonna do it in Houston? He said we're in Houston. You're in the spirit. He's in the spirit. Of course, they have to be in Houston. Definitely. They have to find a nice place. Mm -hmm. And get some food once we finish and we eat. Some of you will even sleep in the in the in the venue. <laughs> right. <laughs> some of you will sleep in the venue because you will be so tired. The thing is that uh, with God, if you, if if God is really leading me to do this, I'm telling you, He will strengthen us. Of, of course, definitely. And there will always be something to definitely. do. Definitely. Just like with the 12 hours, people don't know how I do it. Mm -hmm. It's never a boring moment. There's always something to do. Even people watching online, they watched, focused, like they're they are glued to the screen, their face. True. Their eyes are glued to the screen. They don't even leave. True. They're like, oh, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> it's, it's God that is doing this. True. It's God that is doing this. True. I said, I was, I was having pain on my belly when I was watching prayer life. The pain has gone. Hallelujah. Mm. Your healing is prominent in the name of Jesus. Mm. What I said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I won't lie, but I will try. <laughs> 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 it's good to tell the truth. <laughs> Even my small boy, my 10 year old boy, has done 12 hours with us mm -hmm. almost five times. He did it throughout my birthday. Yes. He did it at the 12 hours in Houston, Houston and, in yes. Mary and Maryland. Maryland yeah. Small boy, he's done five 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So adults can do it too. Of course. I'm telling you, if a kid can do it, adults can do it. It will go by so fast. How mm. many videos would that be? Six live videos. Yes, yeah, six. And whenever we do something like this, something happens in the spirit. Of course. It's like promotion. Not just for us, the ministers. You too. It's another level totally. True. You will be rewarded for it. Hallelujah. Pastor, man only pay me. You have tried. Yes, why don't they pay me? You don't try. If it's do your own, see. Thank you. No, I don't. I don't I, I mean, one, I show you the one way you did. Okay. Because I don't say you don't want to look me now. You want to look yourself. <laughs> Pastor, I, I, I say you can watch the TV, but I know you don't want to be watching me. Pastor, you know you don't want to watch me. Well, you want to watch yourself? Be all right. Pastor likes himself too much. We all do. We all do. No, you all too much. <laughs> <laughs> you like yourself too much. We all do. We all do it. Pastor will be watching himself. Yeah. Me, I thought it was me only, but this is my cousin. <laughs> I want too much. My mother even ask. Say, ha. You too love yourself. I think this is when I introduced well, you to come on stage. All of us. We all do. Mm. We had fun though. We had fun. We did a lot of deliverance. It was powerful. A lot. A lot. Okay, I invited you here. I didn't show you earlier. That's why. Sorry, guys. We just got home. When We've not even really rested. For me, God told me to come online. I mean, when God tells me something, I do it. Because I know there's somebody there that will... <laughs> the same people are funny. Oh, they are loving that also. <laughs> Pastor like himself too much. It is well. All right. So I was reading the scripture, and um, I stopped at Mark one. I'm, I'm about to round up so I can start praying for people. Mark one. I stopped at verse um, twenty seven. But let me read verse twenty six again. It says, "And when the unclean spirit had torn him." And cried with a loud voice. Pastor, as I was preaching this, I was even showing them some clips of when I was doing deliverance. Yes. How the spirit was shaking mm -hmm. them. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's same the same thing, right? It's the same. I mean, it's nothing. Like, and that's you what... know, when Jesus said, hold your peace, old mm -hmm. English, in modern days, shut up. Shut up. That's right. That's exactly what And I is. say that a lot to yes. shut up. It's the same thing. Wow. It's the same thing. You see, and some people, so that's what makes me wonder when people come and see us doing deliverance, they're like, don't talk to the demon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know how they will say, yeah. why are you talking to it? 
You shouldn't talk to it. Like they bring some rules and I'm like, are you reading the Bible? Have you, have you ever read the Bible? Did you see what Jesus did? It is well. It says, it says, and the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice. He, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned amongst themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they do obey him. Like, wow, we've never seen this kind of thing before. Like me, when I was doing deliverance on Facebook, people were like, what is this? Are they acting? Is this yeah. fake? Is this real? Exactly. What kind of thing is it? Pastor Isaac even said the first time he saw me do deliverance on Facebook, I think that was um with Carol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carol. Carol. Mm -hmm. When I finished that video, Pastor called me. He was in Cyprus then. He said, wow, woman of God. I, I just asked God, I said, why do you want me to watch this woman? Yeah. She, I mean, can't tell the reaction. He said, he said, she got it all. Like, look at how she did it. <laughs> I was watching. I was actually sleeping because it was very late in Cyprus. And then, you know, I was just hearing, ah, I was just hearing the command and everything. I woke up and I was watching. The demon was manifesting and she was in control, in charge. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was, I, I was, was really amazed. Like this. And then my face was too cute. <laughs> I was doing it like before Pastor gave me his face. <laughs> you remember that time my face never did those. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, look at my now, face. Now you take out now. Then I was just like, come out. Fine girl, they do you this know? thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor said, wow. I was, I was amazed. I said, how? I was asking you. I said, Lord, why do you want me to work with her? Because she got it all. You know, I've seen people do different things, but maybe they have this gift, but they don't have this one. But like, she has it all. Even she's working in the prophetic. She's working in healing. She's working in deliverance. And I was like, Lord, she has it all. What do you want me to work with her for? Because it was amazing. Hmm. I was telling her, was it yesterday or so? I was telling some of the ladies that work with her. I said, some of us, it took us 15 years. That's right. 15 years. And see, these 15 years, I was not joking. Hmm. Do you understand? It's not like I was playing. No, I was on fire for God for for almost 20 years. Wow. So it's not like I was playing. I was studying my Bible. I was praying. I was doing evangelism. I was doing ministry things. Speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues and all that. Yet, I didn't know all these things. It took me 15, 16, 17 years wow. to know a lot of the things that she's just knowing now. So I was like, how? Hmm. So I tell people all the time because we have people today, you know, they see, like they see the woman of God. And then they want to rush out and do the same thing. No, it's not all the same. Some of us had to go through the long route. We had to go the long way. We went, we had to serve. Some of us served. Somebody like me, I keep telling people, somebody who see me now, and you know, you look at me, probably looking young and everything, but I served. I've been a driver for pastors. You understand? I've driven pastors. I served as a driver. I served. In fact, for 14 years, I was seven in a ministry. Nobody said, she did a lot of pastors facing me. It's so tight. Pastor. Right? I don't need to take my face. If you take my face, you must so see that. Eh? <laughs> pastor said, if we take his face, we must so see though. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know how the thing just changes. My God, we get what you ask for. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, man, I was like, me, I served for many, many years. Somebody says serving is the word. That's it. I did. I served for a long time. In fact, if someone had told me years ago, like 10 years ago, that one day I'm going to have my own ministry, I'll be like, just calm down, relax. Because I was okay where I was, serving and just being, you know, and then in the place of service, that's where you get that anointing that stays. That's right. There are different kinds of anointings. There's the one that comes on you, but it could be for a while. The one that stays is the one that comes through service. That one that you receive through service. So many people just want the easy way out. You know, just want to quickly go and then, you know, just be out so there immediately. Dangerous. Listen, <laughs> if you rise suddenly, it's dangerous because you can fall suddenly. 
Unless God calls Except you. God called you. Because if God calls you, the challenges will still come, but he will defend you. He will you. defend you. He will fight for you. He will fight for you because he sent you. He's the one. And I always tell people, if you are, if you hear a voice saying, go, and you are in a hurry to go, chances are that it's not God. Look through the Bible. All the people that God called, they were reluctant. All of them. They had to ask, how do I go about it? Lord, what do I do? Why? Because if God calls you, it will not be in your strength. It will be in his strength. So you have to ask him, Lord, how do I do it? For example, during this program in Minnesota, I was ministering every time when I call people out, God will tell me, okay, call this person. So when I call them, for example, he told me, me, I hate drama. I don't like people that don't have faith. I don't like them coming close, you know. God told me, say, call people that have deaf ear in the left. So he told me, yeah, I got to go I, No, yeah, I have to. True. That thing is really yeah. <laughs> God told me, say, call people that are deaf in the left ear. I heard it clearly. So I said, deaf, I'm hearing somebody deaf in the left ear, come forward. Right? And then two ladies came out. There's one guy came out. <laughs> <laughs> Deaf in both ears. I didn't say left ear. I didn't say right ear. I didn't say both ears. I said left ear. And then you come. Now there are some cases where the person might have faith. Right? Have that faith. The faith is listen, I have seen the anointing of God's Spirit in this man of God. I know that if he just touches me, I'll be healed. If he just touches me, I'll be healed. The two ladies I called, instantly, their ears popped open. They were hearing instantly. But this particular guy, you know, get faith. Hi! Zero, as in, you know the Bible says Jesus marveled at their unbelief. He marveled. That's how I marveled. Until they started calling him marvelous. You know? When you marvel. I tell you. You know, I, I've, come, I've come too far in my walk with God to doubt this. I've come too far. Why are you coming out there? You don't make me laugh. I mean, the guy comes to like say, he like say, my prayer and I make it even worse. What's the thing? Are you here? He said, no. He said, no, I still can't hear. But God, they want ear. He told me left ear. Two ears. Two ears. out with faith and said if the man of God just touches me I know I'll be healed and then you know I asked him say can you hear he said man of God I can't hear now but I know that as long as you've touched me I know I'm fine and the way you I know can, yeah. yeah that's faith <laughs> because he know I can't hear you can't hear God, God. <laughs> now he cause a problem <laughs> now he cause <laughs> person he will tell you sorry you're not the person go back <laughs> true but you know oh, sometimes we did a deal i say now we love god my past god, love the people past true pastor you, why you got to talk about this guy <laughs> <laughs> when we went to the hotel <laughs> my pastor we laughed he said we want to go you see this guy we want to go spoil my <laughs> 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 this guy we want 
Ross <laughs> boy man is so funny. <laughs> Nami Kosi here to do that. Asabia, do I know him? <laughs> oh my god, Pastor, Pastor, I don't know. My stomach did me. No, the guy said he could only read your lips. I go read my lips. So when you first pray, now you in your mind, ah, it don't work. You know? <laughs> Pastor, turn it back from me. Say, can you hear me? <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> yeah we do we have fun too, talking about this trust me we are human being like you too <laughs> pastor say I, 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 from now on when god tell me one ear it's the one ear <laughs> nobody should call it two ear <laughs> <laughs> the guy walk on boy the check it movement. <laughs> go, go, go up on his head. The one of those boys, the one of those boys, the check it. Oh, yeah, check it. I can't hear. <laughs> oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, we don't come back house now. You know that. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to make a consider for you. Consider. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. My God. But well, you see how it is. We are not magicians. True, yeah. When God tells us something, we have to obey. Exactly. And some of you, you like to do this thing to us. God say, if you have leg pain, True. somebody will come out with something else. Say, I have malaria. How is that one? The same thing I as wonder, leg pain. You know? Let us do the leg first. <laughs> the one that we have. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody will say, I'm healed, I'm healed. That one will say, it's see there. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? You're telling me it's serious. I'm not the one that put it there. <laughs> now we put, put the sickness there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh my God. It is no, like... Man of God, a better mm. way to say it, eh? man of God, I'm still <laughs> feeling it, but I know that as long as you have touched me, it is gone. That's right. That's faith. When you do like that, then ah yeah 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 yeah. That's right. That's faith. That's because right. the truth is that even Jesus, not all miracles were instant. That's right. You know we do make it like this. When I left that program, I started asking God more about this thing, and He told me something. He said, "This check it miracles, they are strictly. You have to follow strictly what I tell you. If I tell you call to some so person, you call, you that, call person, that person. I will back that one." Yes. But the one I didn't ask you to call out, I, I don't have to back it. That's right. Because I'm God. You work for me. I don't work for you. That's right. Oh my God. I like that's this what he, one. That's what he told me. Right. Jesus. So you work for me. I don't work. So it's what I tell you. And see, God doesn't care whether people see instant things as I have. No, he doesn't care about that. His word must be followed strictly. That's what he told me. So he said, from now on, I tell you this one, call this one. That's what it is. Every other one, for example, that guy that came out, what I should have done is to pray a prayer of intercession. That's yes. a different kind of prayer. Yes. When we're praying the check it prayers, that one is prayer of faith. The Bible mm -hmm. says the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord will raise him. Mm -hmm. That's the prayer of faith. That's right. But the prayer of intercession, that's one you are interceding on his behalf. On their behalf. God can decide to do it. God may not do it, but that's up to him to decide. That's prayer of intercession. Because many people, what they want to see is magic. I and it's I not, said, yes. Said that on Sunday. And it's not magic. We don't do magic. Ten lepers came and met Jesus. Jesus told them, go and show yourself to the priest. While they were living, they, the leprosy was still there. But it was along their way they discovered that they were healed. Mm -hmm. Now, we were not told the distance to the place where they had to go and show themselves to the priest. It could have been days because in those days they didn't have cars. It could have been days. That's right. It's possible it could have been days before they received their healing. Yes. There was also that man Jesus made the spittle and put in his eyes and told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. The pool could have been far. It could have been far. <clears throat> and then the guy had to travel to go and wash his eyes in that pool. So it's not all miracles that are instant. When these instant miracles happen, God is doing it to glorify himself. That's right. To show people that he is God. He is who he says he is. That's what it is. But there are principles. There are some people that may never be healed. We remember a woman of God talked about Paul, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 
when Paul said, said, because of the numerous revelations that he had been receiving, a servant of Satan was sent to poke him. To, to poke him. So what happened? He, he, a thorn, he said he had a thorn in his flesh. And he prayed three times, saying, oh God, take this thing away from me. God said, no. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. What? Don't bother about this thing you're going through. Focus on my grace. That's what God was saying. So sometimes, even we as servants of God, don't think everything is not okay. Mm-mm. We have issues too that we are going through. The grace will help us. To do but the we don't focus on those things. We That's focus right. on the grace. That's right. That's exactly what it is. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in mm-hmm. weakness. Mm-hmm. So we need the weakness. That weakness is needed because that's where the strength of God is going to be perfected. perfected. Just like now, I'm very tired. It's that's how it. we're sleeping in the plane. We were very we tired. We plan our come home, eat, go to sleep. Look at us Look now. Look at what is here. Now. Exactly. His strength is working right. because he's we're ma- weak. In, yes, <laughs> in weakness. That's why his strength is made perfect. So some people may not be here. God may allow it. He may permit it to be there so that he can demonstrate his strength. That's right. He demonstrates his power. So that's why there's a man of God who said something and I love it. He said, your attitude towards God is whether he heals me or not, he is my healer. And the same people where they do for Shadrach, Meshach. And That's God. it. They said, whether God saved them from that. They said, it said, oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Yes. Said, don't, don't even waste your time in this matter. The God we serve, he is able to save us. Yes. But even if he refuses to save us, we will we not, bow. not bow. That's, That's right. the attitude. I like that story. That God is looking for. We are looking for people like that. Yes. Whether God heals me or not, He is my healer. I know He is my healer. That's right. And I don't care whether I receive the miracle or not, whether I receive miracle money or not, whether I get this or not. The greatest gift is the gift of salvation. That's right. And as long as you know you are saved, as long as you know that if you close your eyes in this world, you will open it into God's he- in God's heaven. Yeah. As long as you are, you know the guarantee, the, the the surety of your salvation. That's the most important thing. That's right. Every other thing. Why am I? Look, I'm wearing glasses. Mm-hmm. But I've prayed for people. I've prayed for people with blind eyes. Me too, I wear open. contacts. This one doesn't work. This is the only mm-hmm. eye that is good. Mm-hmm. But I prayed for people and they got healed instantly. I, pray, <laughs> I, I, I told the testament of the lady from South Africa. She received a phone call from somebody and she turned instantly blind. Hmm. And I prayed for her. She went to sleep, woke up the next morning. She was seen. seen. Wow. She was completely mm-hmm. blind, but she started seen. Mm-hmm. But I'm not focusing on this. Mm-hmm. I'm not even Look looking at my teeth. I'm not even what, is gap. Man of God, not even just go there. <laughs> no go there. See my teeth. No there. go there. There I went to railway station. No go there. That teeth matter. Just no go there. Say, no, go there. My own scatter. Look at him. Scatter. Father. <laughs> Father. Father. I want to ask my mom question myself. My Father. teeth scatter like this. What were they doing? How did they do it? Father. Father. See my teeth scatter like this. Scatter. Wow. Scatter, like this. scatter like this. Everywhere like this. Huh? You say his teeth is scattered all over the place. Yeah. I make <laughs> But his grace is so Yeah, scattered. right. You know. You know that. That's it. I'm preaching now. Uh-huh. Okay, so my own is not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Like this, the devil is mad because That's right. the devil uses these things eh, exactly to shame people, mm-hmm. to make people not to want to do what God is yeah. saying. Eh? Oh, don't worry. When you fix your teeth, you can do it. When you do this, when you lose weight, mm-hmm. you can do this. When you don't you see how big your belly is? Mm-hmm. But even with that, That's it. we are still doing That's God's it. Work. We're not letting that thing hold us back. That's it. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> so before we start praying for people, we'll be laughing. 
<laughs> when we went to Nigeria now, when I was doing a program in Nigeria, yeah. Pastor came with me. Mm. One of my followers, what's her name, Seth? Toyo or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. She came to our room and she was expecting that we'll be praying for like mm-hmm. two hours. Mm-hmm. She was saying, well, but me and Pastor were just there relaxing, laughing. We're laughing. She was like, so, are we not going to pray off it? Pray <laughs> we're supposed to go on evangelism. And, so do and this share flyers to invite like, people. My dear, relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not by our power. That's it. It's not by our strength. True. true. <laughs> it's true that. Of course. So, sir, are we not supposed to be shakara by shakara? Uh, yeah. Why they calm down? Calm We don't pray already. Exactly. <laughs> Let us... That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus. But that's it. I've seen a lot of people. Oh, uh, they have low self-esteem because true. of all these things. The anointing, eh? Take all these teeth. Give me anointing. <laughs> <laughs> For real, what is the use of getting complete set of teeth that look yeah, good? Yeah, no anointing. No power, no anointing. Not huh? You are just there. True. I'm just saying. There are True. some people that are on wheelchair, but they are highly anointed. No, see. There one guy. Okay, that was in New York. One of God, I was like half the guy's height. Wow. The guy that came for me to pray for him. I was half the guy's height. Yeah, it was one tall guy. Yeah. Very tall at this. I went to stretch my hand to lay. My hand did not reach his head, woman of God. My hand no reach in head. Wow. I stretched my hand like my hand no reach in head. I had to put my hand on his chest. Wow, he was that tall. Tall guy! Oh my God. But we're still doing what we're doing. And that's the most important thing. And we're Every, not ashamed. We're not ashamed, exactly. Like me, now look at me. I'm, my belly look like I have seven month pregnancy now. It is well. You know what I mean? And it's Gary and soup that food that's in the Gary. Fufu and not cross soup, nice for that belly. <laughs> but I'm still casting out demons. That's right. I'm still doing things. True. You understand what I mean? Because this shape here, mm-hmm. this body, the devil will try to make you mm. feel like. Your body needs to be perfect first, or your voice. Even the way I laugh, this laugh, you have to polish it, or or you know, like me, like a former, you have to look formal, you have to mm-hmm. act formal, yeah, you have to hold the fork a certain way. Exactly, me, the way I hold my fork, I like, say, so they fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hold fork when I want to eat rice, I say, they fight. No manners for that place, leave it. You'll be all right, dude. <laughs> You're gonna be all right. That's right. Or you have to eat on the dining table, mm-hmm. you have to have some. Etiquette, yeah, have to talk a certain way, you mm. know. The way you do, I'm gonna leave that. Leave thing. that thing. Leave <laughs> <her>. leave <laughs> <her>. <laughs> leave that thing. Oh my god, I'm telling you. oh my god, stop letting mm. the devil deceive you. That's it. God chose you like this. That's it. God says, Go, true, my dear. Go. That's it. Stop making excuses. True. Oh, this one is this. Oh, I don't like the way my voice sounds. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way my laugh is. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way my shape is. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way my teeth is. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way my eyes. How can I be praying for people? Mm-hmm. But me, my eyes, and say, what mm-hmm. would they say about me? What mm-hmm. do they have to say? People don't care. They just want their own healing. People not saying. <laughs> they just want their own deliverance. True. Stop worrying about stuff like that. I'm telling you. Whenever I talk about my teeth, pastor will say I shouldn't say so. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> because before me and my... Have you seen anybody open teeth in three places? One, two, three. I said, which kind of teeth did it? Your own is only three. <laughs> if you have open teeth, how many places, pastor? My own scatter, my own are road. I said, everywhere. Scatter. I want, I, I want to ask my mother a question. I said, wait till, what exactly happened anyway? <laughs> Was there an accident along the way? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, did your teeth take road trip? <laughs> the, movie, the movie we're watching in the hotel room. Was there an accident along the way? Mama, mommy, are you watching? What's up, mama? That's why you're so funny. <laughs> See, eh, well, you can laugh about stuff like this. Nobody can use it to shame you. They'll be all right. That's what they're fine. They'll be all right. Nobody can shame you. That's the thing. When we have Jesus, we... We don't know what is shame. I wonder. Do we know what shame is? Nothing. No, nothing shame happen. came in the Bible in Genesis. It came True. when they had, after they are eating that. Food. Yes. That's when they felt shame. True. Uh-huh. But before then, there was nothing like shame. So sin is the one that births shame. Exactly. We are not ashamed of anything. Exactly. The way True. God made us is perfect. True. The voice He gave you is perfect. And you know the, the be- way you laugh is perfect. The beautiful part of the whole thing. Is that a day is coming? The Bible says we shall be changed. We'll be changed. <laughs> and that day we're going to have the heavenly body. 
That's and that right. body is going to be perfect. Exactly. You're going to have the perfect height. You're going to have the perfect shape. You're going to have the perfect look. Everything mm-hmm. perfect. And that day is really, really coming. As long as we're in this world, we're not there yet. Yes. It, no, no matter how, how beautiful you look now, a time is going to come, you're going to age. That's right. You get older. Yes. It doesn't matter how many yes. surgeries you do. You will get older. All the celebrities doing surgery. When it, they get older, sometimes they will put fake um, butt. Yes. You know, they put fake yes. butt. The thing will burst in their body. It will body. be like bag, like sack that they are carrying. I said the thing don't burst. Explosion. Yes, of course. Explosion happen in their yes. body. Even their breasts. Yes. The thing move. True. Like they start having cancer from it. Yes. They start doing this. At the end, some of them look deformed because of all the injection they put in there. You know, they put this both Yes. Something to yes. make their lips Their lips, like yes. This. All those things. You no, know, all those things, after a while, when the expiring date come, your face, you will still look somehow. True. Unless you... God did not make mistake. That's said. I'm telling you. That's said. You look good. As we are in this world, a day is going to come when we're going to be going to heaven. Right. And then we're going to have that perfect body, that perfect look. And you'll be, you'll rejoice, you'll be excited, you'll be happy about it. For now, no matter what you see, no matter what you experience, like I said before, miracle or no miracle, Jesus is Lord. Ah. Healing or no healing, Jesus is He's Lord. still Lord. Whether you are blessed financially or not, Jesus is still Lord. That's what it is. That should be the attitude. That's right. Once, he, once you have that attitude, God is ready to give you everything. Because he knows that you are not worshipping things, you are worshipping him. People don't know this, but what, where, do you, where is your focus? Some people, because of the things they are going through, they focus on their problems, they focus on those things, and they take their eyes off God. Yes. And what you don't know is, when you start taking your what you focus on is what your God is. Yes, so Your true. God is the one that you focus on. If your focus is on, oh, I need money for bills, money for this, this, that's your focus. That has become your God. And what you focus on will become bigger in your eyes. Yes, it's true. What you focus on will become bigger. But if you take your eyes away from those things, away from the pain, away from this and that, what you're going through and focus on God, he will become big. Yes. And all those things will become small. Now, Before you know it, they will call you and say, ah, your debt has been cancelled. Mm. Before you know it, as someone will say, I just want to bless you with this. I just want to give you this car. I want to give you this house. This, that, that. When you focus on God, that's why he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all those things shall be added to you. That's right. He said, your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things. He's aware of what you have need of. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows you don't have a job. He knows. He knows that you're looking for a place to stay. He knows. He knows these things. True. He knows. But he doesn't want that to be your focus. That's it. Let him be your focus. That's it. And he'll make your problem his problem. That's it. That's right. That's it. And once that is, you will begin to see everything fall in place. Me, I like my kind of relationship with God, I talk with the Lord all the time. All the time. I first heard um, Smith Wigglesworth. You did hot? Yeah, I'm feeling hot. Mommy, that is your fear, boss. Bless you, you don't. It's very hot. Smith Wigglesworth. Sorry, mommy, we don't come. We don't bother you. No vex. My mama, my mama, when we came, ah, mommy cook one see, better yam see, porridge. See yam porridge, man. Cook one native soup, soup. like this. I ate I mean, everything. I passed all we plan in the plane that we'll eat fufu. We'll swallow soup and fufu. So when we came now, he was already eating the fufu. Me and I ate yam. He said, a woman, I go, you don't cheat me or cheat it. You told me we'll eat fufu. Why eating yam first? So I ate yam, ate fufu. Do you know what pastor did? After swallowing all the fufu, he still went to carry yam in his That's plane. Right. I said, what <laughs> kind of thing is this now? <laughs> Not the same thing where you do, man of God. I in the plane, you know, we had first class. We sat in first class, yeah. so we were planning to sleep. Mm. I don't know how. When they started sharing food, my eyes just opened. <laughs> <laughs> when they started sharing food in the plane, I don't know. Maybe it was an angel that woke me on my bed. <laughs> that woke me immediately. The man started coming. Mom, I was deep sleeping, dreaming. No, <laughs> the woman that guy came to my front. My eyes open like this. I said, give me, I'm ready. True. <laughs> Even you, I was surprised. I looked to the right part, so I opened. <laughs> I, said, I said to you, I go, chop, man, give me everything. I took everything. <laughs> chop, bro. Uh-uh. You said we must enjoy our money. Who's uh-uh. is this? 20. I took everything. 
everything. We were deep sleeping. Me, I was dreaming dreams. Suddenly, my eye just opened. See, the guy was holding food. I said, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> And then guess what? While we're eating the food, we saw one pass packet of cookies. Pastor saw one packet of cookies on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Pastor, bring that one to let us eat it. He said, no, it fell from the seat in front of us. I said, eh, eh, give them back. Before you know, another pack fell. I said, Pastor, don't touch it. This is maybe the one initiate us. <laughs> Why would they be dropping their cookies like that? They want to initiate us. <laughs> Keep their cookie on the floor. Now, so they take initiate people, look. <laughs> I mean, if not, why would your two cookies for you? Don't no, like that. Two what? packet of cookies. If they're not going to jump, why did Before, they you didn't know. You won't call me shit here, my brother. Agent. <laughs> From the agency. <laughs> the pastor don't touch it. Though. I think they want to initiate us to something. <laughs> they want use food catch us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. We have fun all the time. You know, uh, if you do like this, uh, you will just love serving God. Mm. Laughter all the time. Joy. See, it's not that it doesn't mean that everything is always good, but we don't dwell on the wrong things That's or the right. bad. We focus on the good. We focus That's on right. Jesus. Yeah. Because we don't have much time in this world, though. Before you know it, you're already 70. Growth disappear. Oh, this is, this is one, one testimony. Which one is this? Wait, breast lump disappear. Breast lump. Mm. See, Pastor is, is he, he, he's preaching, but he like himself. You're going to be all right. His go, eyes keep you going. Go far. His eyes keep going to himself. You go there far. Pastor can watch himself all day. <laughs> <laughs> you go there far. I, I thought I liked myself. But Pastor, why is it that every time you're watching the video, you you, you fast forward my part and then go to your part? One of God. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Why you got to rule my back? Talk through. All of us they do the same thing. <laughs> no. All of us. Sometimes I watch ask, your past small. Mommy could tell you, all of us they do the same thing. No, sometimes thing. I watch your past small. But you, you just quick, quick, run from my power. They fight. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh my God. Now me and I make you watch other people. Before, you they watch only yourself. <laughs> but so quickly, now me, scroll <laughs> through my back. <pad>. <laughs> now we quarreling. <laughs> Support your game. <laughs> You will see me in the beginning, you will just scroll to his back. I want to see all the agents who want to spawn my work. <laughs> all the people with that set. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, this is so funny. My god, this is so geisha. At least you guys are seeing how we have fun here. We just like to play too much. But we, we love the Lord, we love what we do. We love seeing people free. We just love praying for people. You know, we hardly do anything else. In fact, we're supposed to be sleeping now. If I was surprised that you were awake, Seth, because I thought you had slept. Yeah. Uh, you're still watching yourself. Hey, yeah, man, come out for your side. Mommy, did you turn on the AC? It's okay. You didn't put it on 70 or something. 70. It's so hot. Now, fire. I think it's the anointing, you know. Right? Maybe we'll get a Mommy, you are not hot at all. Yeah. Why? You know, when two anointed people join yeah. together. Mm -hmm. It's like electric, right. electrocution. It's fire, and with a laugh too. Last Elect electrocution. Electro, what is that? You have spoken it. Well, you have to be electrocution. My English. Nobody will be electrocuted. Is it electrocool? I'll be electrocution. Electrocool. Oh boy, this one I don't like to speak big English because. Electrocution? Is electrocution? Electrocution. Wow! <laughs> Did I ask Pastor in the airport? I said, Pastor, why is it that you're the only one that knows good English? Like, why is it that you always know meaning to things? How come I don't know these things? <laughs> what happened? Did you go to a different kind of school or something? Pastor was just laughing. How come? Anytime I don't know how to understand one English, you, you know it. Why? <laughs> why do you have to know it like that? <laughs> Electrocute. Electrocute. No, what I'm saying is when two electricity join together, uh -huh. something happens. What is mm -hmm. that called? I'm not in the color, but not this. Like explosion? Exactly. Uh -huh, <laughs> because that's why we're sweating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, but there's so much. Like, there's it's too much fire. I'm just so sweating. Anointing. The anointing will make you sweat. Mm -hmm. That's it. And apart from that, though, we're laughing too. And you know, 
even while you're doing this thing, I wanted to say, let's do some deliverance. But then you only like action. <laughs> if they <not. laughs> Pastor like action. Let me tell you what Pastor did one day. <coughs> this was last year or early last year. I invited Pastor on my video. We were sitting together on, on the couch. And then I was letting him pray for people. And Pastor liked action too much. So the first person he prayed manifested, he was awake. That's right. Second person manifested, third person. No manifestation, but they were healed. I started noticing that pastor sleep on the couch <laughs> because there is no action. No, the next person was a woman and her son. <laughs> oh, you're free! Shut up, <laughs> pastor. Because no action, pastor told them they are free quickly. <laughs> and he, was, he was looking like he was sleepy. I said, pastor, you can go and sleep. You don't do before you free people that are not free. <laughs> If you got free people that are not free, <laughs> don't go free people when they are free yet. <laughs> go sleep, no action for this. I go do. It. Let me do this. <laughs> if 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 Pastor Isaac, if I'm doing deliverance now, big manifestation, and Pastor Isaac is sleeping seriously in his room, I don't know how he gets to here. He will wake up. <laughs> You wake up quickly. <laughs> I don't know if somebody wakes him up. Wake up, wake up, action, action. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Pastor, this was a comedy show. <laughs> I don't last with I don't forget my message. <laughs> I don't even know. What was the message? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, Pastor, say you are your son, you are free. I was, I was looking at, so I wanted to say, let's do deliverance. I say, say combustion. Combustion. And that's what I was talking about. Combustion is fuel. It's so hard. Mommy, you didn't turn on this. When fuel comes in contact with the spark, that's combustion. It's too hard. It's here. No, we need a day like this, so. That's why I like Minnesota. I was never hot in that place. Yeah, Minnesota was. I think I'll move to that place. Pastor Mo go man, so that I go live there. Right. Oh, We're gonna move there. Oh boy, nice God bless all of you. Oh my god, I'm so hot. My mother is not hot. The house she says you like the fun. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so do you have anything to say? Or should we invite somebody? Yeah, invite, invite. Okay, so who needs deliverance? Since I have pastor, check it here. Comment, comment. Pastor, you'll be the one to pick this no, one. No, just to, no, 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 you will pick. I know the guy you like to pick. Comment what's wrong with you. Let us pick you. And pray for you. Since my cousin is here, I thought he was sleeping now, but he's here now. So let us do it. <laughs> let us know. What do you feel like address? Or what are you led to address? Spiritual husband, serpentine spirit, marine spirit, or back pain. Pastor! <laughs> there was one person that who was hating on my cousin. Yes, he said, every time, back pain, back pain, I didn't pray for. Every time I pray for, only back pain. When are you going to pray for something else? Oh, <laughs> my cousin. Back pain, no be pain. <laughs> do, you know, do you know when you were doing back pain in my video? Somebody said, but why are all these people having back pain? <laughs> Somebody said, let me ask a question. Why are all of them having back but, pain? You know, eh? You know, eh? This thing, eh? Until you have gone through something, eh? You may not know what people are going through. That's right. There was a time, there was a period of time I was having severe back pain. Severe one. There was one day I almost went paralyzed. Wow. I was at home. Suddenly, my back, as in, it was as if my spine, like somebody broke my spine or something. I just managed to get up. I couldn't walk. Hmm. It was, in, I knew it was an attack. I just got up. And then, you know, I began to speak in tongues. Mm. Began to speak. My wife was there. She didn't know what was happening to me. And I didn't want to tell her to, so that she would, she would panic. And I took one step and I began to prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to walk. I'm going to run. Satan, you are defeated. This happened for a while. I kept speaking. 
until it got better and better and before the end of that day i was 100 percent fine mm. and i guess the lord allows us go through these things so we can know what people are that are going through these things feel there was a lady that she said her, her, her spine was misaligned or something something she said that's a serious problem see Thomas, the back pain is extremely painful uh-huh and, and another thing the, the spirit of god things are seasonal there could be a time this is what he's dealing with this is what he's dealing with. Yes. But once he's done with that, that season has passed. Yes. So whatever God does, and there is no miracle that is a small miracle. Even if it is headache. I know a family where one, one of the daughters in that family, she just died suddenly. And then the second one came. She said, ah, mommy, I'm feeling headache. Headache. She just sat down. As she sat down like that, pap, she died too. So, you may say common headache. But people have died like that. Yes. So no miracle is small. I never told anybody that it's by my power. It's in the name of Jesus. That's right. So Jesus is the one healing. I'm only a vessel. And guess what? See, my wife says she remembers because I told her. Oh, your wife is uh-huh. watching. She's Hello, watching. Pastor Christabel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're here laughing in here. So people don't understand that. See, no miracle is a small miracle. And I pray that these things don't happen to you. When you see other people get healed, be happy for them. That's right. And give thanks to God that you are healthy. That's right. Because sickness is not funny. Yes. There was a day I had a dream. I saw somebody. The person just blew breeze on me. Hmm. I woke up. My neck was stiff. Yes. I was a pastor. This happened in 2012. 2012. I was pastoring. I was going to church, preaching. This happened for three weeks. That thing was on. People didn't know. I couldn't turn my neck. When Hmm. I was home, I have to use something to support my neck. Somebody blew breeze for you in in a dream. I woke up physically. I couldn't turn my neck. Has anyone experienced anything in the dream that they woke up in real life and it affected them? Mm-hmm. Because that's some serious issue. Yes. Wow. And God allowed me. That thing stayed for three weeks. I started studying about it. I was watching. Uh, I think it was TV Josh. I was watching then. And then I got up one day and I dressed like, out in the name of Jesus because I knew it was a demon. Commanded a spirit of infirmity. That's what attacks people's bodies like that. Once I commanded it out, instantly I could turn my neck. And that's why I'm mad at the devil when it comes to things like that. It's because God has trained me in that area and I've gone through things. There are some cases that I have noticed that I get very instant results. That's it. And people should know where their strengths are. For example, almost 100%, almost 100% of cases, I said almost for a reason. Mm -hmm. Everyone that God told me, when it comes to deafness, I've received almost 100% results. When it comes to all these cases of uh back pain waist pain or arthritis all these things i've seen almost 100 percent results in those areas that's what i see the power of god is working in that area so what do i do i dwell on that many other areas i've prayed for i've received seen miracles at the end of the day the glory goes to god we have nothing to boast about that's right so uh, that somebody that was blind got healed and so what it's not my power i can't even boast about it so people that don't understand how these things work that the ones that will be saying Somebody say yes, I had a dream. Something hit me on my neck and now I'm having neck pain. All right, let's invite that person. Pretty Obiageli, let us know if you want us to invite yeah, exactly. you. Exactly. If you say yes, then we invite you. Let's see. Uh-huh. That dream one was mm-hmm. a trigger. Exactly. So these dreams, these attacks in dreams are really serious. So. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you which one? Look at I don't this know. One. Said Yes, that happened to me in 2015. A lady hit my leg in a dream and I woke up limping. Uh-huh. Wow. True. This is serious. So. It happens. Wow. It happens. Hmm. So that's an easier way for them to attack people. Yes. While they are sleeping. Yes. So sometimes you're dreaming, you think it's just um, a dream, but it's actually happening. And then she commented, yes, ma'am. She did? Where is she? Her. Which one is that? Pretty oh. or the ugly something. She commented already? How come I don't see the comment? My phone. Okay, let us see. We want to invite this lady. Yeah, that's her. Okay, make sure you make sure you are well dressed. The light is on in your place. Make sure TV is off. Make sure no noise. So that we can um invite you. Okay, I think it's better now. Should I turn off the phone? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so hard. And I'm hungry again. It's like we didn't eat. All this people are laughing. Okay, she's there. 
Hello. God bless you, sweetie. How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Yes, ma. Good morning, woman of God. Good morning, man of God. Morning. God bless you. What do you say? Is, what do you say happened? Yeah, it was uh, some time ago. I I traveled to Nigeria. When I came back, I even wrote you. That was the time I wrote you on Facebook. When I came back from Nigeria, as I as I having some nightmares and all that, I was praying and all that. So somebody shared your video. I was watching during that period. So I, there was a time I had a dream. I had, I, I after watching your video, I had a very serious dream that uh, it was like a, a spiritual husband or something like that. So. I, I was like, I don't want to be watching her again because I don't really know you that much. But later, something told me that that dream was just to deceive me to stop watching you, that I should keep on watching you. So I was watching. So that was a day I was I was hold sleeping on. and I had... Hold on. I had those... Hold on. This, this dream was, was a spiritual husband. How did that have anything to do with me? Mm -hmm. No, know. because... no. Mm -hmm. No, ma, it had nothing to do with you. That is, you were talking about, you were delivering people during that period. So that very day, I had that dream. So I was thinking that dream was a distraction for me to stop watching your video, something like that. So I was kind of contemplating, oh God, I don't understand what kind of dream is this. So something that told me that that dream was a distraction for me to stop watching your video that I should keep on watching. Actually, I stopped like for like one week or something. So something that told me that I should go back and be watching your video. So that was how I came back. So during that, oh, internet. You say so during during that what what happened? Your internet. That free. one week that I stopped. During that one week that I stopped watching, I had this dream that someone hit me on my on my neck and since then my neck has been paining me i even wrote it there was a time i even wrote it on facebook that there's this dream that i had something like that so wait so the moment you stop watching that one week that something told you to stop yeah, that, they now attack yes. you your dream and hit you you see what happened yes. mm -hmm. they, they took yes. you away from the video and then they attacked yep. you mm -hmm. yeah i was like oh, why did i stop why i don't know so something that told me that I should go back, that that dream was a distraction, that the dream was a distraction for me to stop okay, watching so your now. video. So right now, you're talking to us now. Your neck is hurting you, and it's from a dream that they hit you. Yes, yes, ma'am. And this has been on for how long, the pain on your neck? Since, uh, it's since April, April, uh, ending of March, something like that. Yeah. So how does that, how does that affect your neck? How... What can't you what, do? What can't you sometimes, do? Sometimes when I try to turn my neck, it's so painful and I feel the pain inside. I've gone to hospital so many times. My daughter would tell me there is nothing that they couldn't find anything. I, I even traveled. There was a time I even traveled to France. I was like, okay, maybe because I live in Italy. I was like, maybe the doctors in Italy, they are not experts that much. So let me just go to the hospital in France. I went to France. It was the same thing they told me. Like, there is nothing on my neck that they couldn't see anything. I've done different scans, different things, nothing, but I feel the pain. It's a very severe pain. I feel the pain so Wait, much. You like feel the pain right now? Yes, ma'am. So, Pastor, will pray for you. Okay. I want you, to, <clears throat> I want you to ask Jesus to heal you. Say, Jesus, heal me seven times. Jesus, heal me. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose I am and whom I serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I command that spirit of infirmity in your neck. I command that devil of infirmity, that evil arrow in your neck, out in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Move your neck. Do you feel pain? No, sir. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The pain is just gone, just like that. Yes, sir. I can feel the pain now. No pain. Like, get up and do your neck. Do something. Yeah. Okay, smart. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Check it. It is done. God has done it for you. It was an attack. That's right. And the demon left the moment he commanded him to get out. Amen. 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 Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Make sure you send your testimonial. That's right. Okay. Well okay, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. You see, we are here and playing. The anointing is still there. And once he said something about dream, I, I knew this was a good was one. A trigger, yeah through an attack in a dream and they woke up in the morning and that thing started happening to them since we're doing that one let's let's let pastor is here before pastor starts sleeping when there's no action <laughs> <laughs> wow pastor that was wow wow, wow. You give God all the and you glory. were about to sleep oh right. if i didn't come online now you will not right. pray for this one true Pastor is always confident when he prays. I don't know about the person he's praying for, but him, we are sure. That's right. You understand? So we just want you to have faith. Faith, exactly. God is always with us. Whether we are laughing or we are crying or we are singing, God is always with us. That's right. Somebody say, my stomach is growing. Okay, she doesn't have the video signed up. Um, Enyong... Alice, Alice. say my stomach is growing. Please, woman of God, I need healing. You can just pray for that one. There's no video sign. Mm. You want to restart your phones with you and comment again. Let's see if it will come on, okay? My stomach is growing. Hey, that seems painful. Mm. What's that? Did you see a comment that I didn't see? Mm? I'm having severe heat pain, making walking difficult. Please pray for me. I'm reading the comments here. You're using your phone to read it. Mm. Some of them don't have the video sign. Mm. Okay, so we should invite this one. Yeah, F, yeah. Mm. <coughs> a lot of new, new names here. Mm. We're seeing a lot of new people watching the video. God bless you all for watching. If God led you here, stay. There's a reason He led you here. Don't be in a rush. Like Pastor Isaac, God told him, watch her videos. Exactly. Watch, tell him what will happen when he watches. Effia. Yeah, woman of God. God bless you, Siri. How are, are you? you? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Great. Is this your first day watching? No. I've Hello. been watching since last year. Wow, since last wow. year. So you know my cousin, you know, you know how we work well together? Yeah, he prayed for me recently. Um, I think last month. Mm. Oh, you did, Pastor? I don't remember. I prayed for you. What happened when I prayed for you? Um, I saw the seed to support their program. And so you called me one Sunday evening and you prayed for me. Yeah. Oh, good. And what, what's happening to you now? Yeah, so since yesterday, I've been feeling pains in my hip. Um, it wasn't so intense but since Monday. But just yesterday, I was getting off the bus. And suddenly when I stepped out, I felt this sharp pain again. It was mm -hmm. so intense. I went to school and throughout the classes, I wasn't feeling comfortable at all. Even right now, I'm still feeling it. I can't even bend down properly. Okay, try to bend down now. Let's see. Okay. Mm, it's painful. Mm. You feel pain? Yeah. It says a sharp pain. Yeah. And it came suddenly, huh? It started on Monday, but it wasn't so severe. But yesterday, when I was getting off the bus, immediately I stepped out. I felt it very strongly. And since then, up to now, I'm feeling it very sharp. I'm not comfortable at all. But you believe that Jesus can heal you? Yes, I do. You do? 
Okay, ask him to heal you. Say, Jesus, heal me seven times. Jesus, heal me. 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 Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to that spirit of infirmity. I rebuke that evil arrow sent. Rode kato me gad mufasto palagida shi paradis. Somte ka shobra kanto ko de kesite. In the name of Jesus. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Be healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now move the hip. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How do you feel? There's great improvement. There's great improvement. Yeah, because before I couldn't like open my legs and go down. Okay, now do it. Do what you couldn't do. It's much better. Way better. Way yeah. better. Way Thank better. You. Thank you, Lord. I couldn't do any of this. I couldn't. You couldn't do that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For some reason, I want every... Do you feel a little bit pain? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little. For some reason, I want every pain to go. To go. Mm -hmm. Put your hand where you're feeling the pain. Look at me. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heal in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Okay, move it now. Look at that. 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 Out. In Jesus' name. Look at that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Look at, look at, look at that. Thank you, Lord. 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 She's healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's a demon. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Come, come closer. What happened to you? Suddenly, I couldn't feel, uh, I couldn't stand on my feet and I feel very hot. Hot? You're still feeling hot? hot. Yeah. Okay, but check the, 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 the hips. Check. Hmm. She's bending off. That's it. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see her bending easily. Thank you, Lord. I'm wow. Free. You're free. Free. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's totally gone. Yeah, I'm free. I could. It was a spirit, an evil spirit. Yeah. I'm free. And that's why you see you just started yesterday or today and yes. it's already so severe. severe. Yeah. It's a I was even one. surprised. And that's just, that's how people get paralyzed, you know. It could just be one day and yeah. so many things will happen. Damage. Yeah. Yeah. In one what is one day? Thirty minutes. Of course. <laughs> you are free. Thank you very much. Thank you. To God, God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Your healing is permanent. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. And you say you could not when you first started, you were it was, it was, it was yeah. painful to bend. I couldn't bend at all. Mm -hmm. I couldn't open, open my legs. Right now. I couldn't so split. Now, okay. Oh, you couldn't do that before? No. Okay. Wow. Shut up. 
That thing that you did before that you are feeling pain, do it again now. Shoot. 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 Battery died. <laughs> At least it waited right. till before we finish praying right. for her. I don't know why the battery always dies. But it died at the right time. She's right already time, healed. Exactly. Wow. True. Pastor, check it. My God. You are so anointed, though. We <laughs> laugh and here. Laugh, laugh, laugh. But when it came for... It's... Wow. It's it's somebody is... saying thank you, Jesus. Because, see, you guys... You know, we make these things look so, like... Easy, right? Easy, but this is something that thing can kill. Of course, it just happened in one day, and she's feeling so much sharp pain, she can't even bend. Sometimes they can't even get up from bed. True, before doctors would say, You're okay, we don't see anything wrong. When it's demonic stuff, doctors never see anything. That's it. And sometimes they will not even give you medicine, they'll say, You are fine, we don't see. And you know, sometimes they don't want to give you medicine when they are not sure. Yes, only prayers can. can can um help true so now what i was hearing while he was praying for her was that some people you feel this heaviness like you feel heaviness like like you feel like you're carrying a heavy weight or something how many of you feel so heavy and you want to feel light right now like there's this heaviness like there's some heaviness like you're carrying something heavy if you are that person, type me. Pastor, bring your head close now. How many of you feel? Pastor, you know what I'm saying? I was hearing mm -hmm. it when yeah. you were praying for her. Heaviness. Like you feel this, like a heaviness. You know the Bible talks about the spirit of heaviness. Wow, I don't even know. Yes, it's in the Bible. You know, that's why I like you now, because you have all these scriptures. <laughs> Pastor, you are an encyclopedia for something, I for bet. Bible. I, I never reach you. <laughs> I just heard it when you were praying for her. Yeah. That some people feel heaviness, like this. There's just this, and you want to feel light. These are all evil spirits. They need to go so you can feel light. I see a lot of people feel heaviness. I'm not mm -hmm. saying you are big or, or you just feel this heaviness. Isaiah it's weighing you down. One verse three. Wow. It talks about the spirit of heaviness. Uh, Isaiah 61. You want to read it? Yeah. It says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that wow. it might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Wow. There is a spirit, spirit of heaviness, a spirit. It's a I, spirit. Naomi said, thank you, Jesus. I've been feeling pain the same way it came out of nowhere, but thank you, Jesus. I tapped into her deliverance. Now I don't feel anymore. Hallelujah. Glory wow. To God. Wow. See, we were, all, we were always excited. Though. We don't say, oh, we've seen so much. Let's not. No, 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 no. See, there's so many people here that feel this heaviness. Wow. All right. I'm going to pray for you. Let me pray for you on this one. Mm. And then we'll call Pastor for the next one. Abby? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Pastor, Pastor, you don't come overtake my video. Oh my God, oh my God. You called me. I my <laughs> you said that you called me. I you said I was on my own. No. <laughs> you called me. You know me, I like when they do these things with me now. It's easy. Like, you know what? We finished with the oil one. I, I mean, no, one deliverance that we did. Oh, this is one, the girl with the deaf ear. Yeah, that girl. That she was, was so. Her ear she was the. She went to make, phone, make call, phone call. And she was running around the hall making phone call. I'm trying to show it. She was running around the hall. Calling somebody with that ear that she couldn't hear she from. Couldn't hear from. And you guys remember this at the event, right? Wow, that ear she had not used it to pick any call. She couldn't believe it. <laughs> and then she now came to touch my feet. Where they show that one said? Didn't show you. to tap tap anointing from the feet. She yeah. was so happy. She had to check it real good by making phone call. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Hallelujah. Pastor, you don't do, you don't watch yourself too much. <laughs> no, no, you're still watching yourself. Now you put Pastor, <laughs> you already watched your phone. You didn't watch this. Now you put, I never watched this one before. I'm watching for the first time. Wow. I think it to set you up now. You know you won't sleep now. <laughs> You'll be watching this here all day. All day. Oh my God. I don't remember how you show yourself. <laughs> When we get to that one, I'm going to show it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I want to pray for spirit of heaviness. So. All right. I want to cast out those demons that make you so heavy. You feel so heavy. Like you're carrying a lot of load or something. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
I need you to stand up. Stand up if you are feeling that heaviness. And there will be cleansing going through your body today. And you will feel so light suddenly. Stand up. Put your right hand on the screen of your phone. Put your right hand on the screen of your phone. Believe what I'm saying. Close your eyes. Just stand up. If it's laptop or if it's TV that you're watching from, put your stand up. Make sure you're standing. Put your right hand on the screen of it. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. You that is feeling this heaviness, fire on your body. Fire, fire. You spirit of heaviness. You demon that is causing heaviness. It's time for you to go. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Pack all your things and go. More fire from your head to your toe. I need total cleansing right now. <laughs> now, the ones that need to vomit something, there's something in your belly that needs to come out. Begin to vomit it now. Out in the name of Jesus. Vomit it up. Let there be a shaking in your system. Begin to vomit it. That thing they put in you, that food they gave you, that drink they gave you, that is making you feel so heavy. Now, begin to vomit it. Begin to vomit it. Out in the name of Jesus. The ones that need to pee pee. Begin to pee now. Begin to poop now. Begin to cough now. Begin to burp now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. On the count of three, angels chop off the heads of these demons. One, two, three. Out. Be free in Jesus' name. Now you will begin to yawn. All of you that your hand is on the screen of this phone, you will start to yawn. You will yawn and yawn and yawn and you will feel so light. As I have said it, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Tell us how you feel. I see a lot of you yawning. I see a lot of you yawning. Ah. And as you're yawning, you're feeling lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Some of you were burping, farting, sneezing, coughing. As you are yawning, you are feeling lighter and lighter. Even children, if your kids are See, they say they're already yawning. Mm. You will yawn and yawn and you will just feel light. Some of you will start yes. feeling hungry too. Yes. Suddenly you will feel like, like you can jump, you can run. There's something that has been weighing you down that made you so heavy. Not only would you yawn, you will also be feeling fire inside your body. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us know how you're feeling. Somebody said they're yawning non-stop. Mira Duke. Yvette burping. Wow, look at all that. So many people yawning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even the ones that did not think they will yawn, you will yawn. Somebody, I hear you, you are even yawning and farting at the same time. Like you're yawning and you're fighting. All these things, you're being cleansed. You're being cleansed. You're being cleansed. You're being cleansed. You're yawning, you're fighting. Things are coming out of you. Things are coming out of you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. No more heaviness. Uh huh. Somebody said they already yawned five times. You will keep yawning. You will be burping, farting, everything. You will feel light. Some of, somebody, you will go, your stomach will be like you have not eaten all day. But before now, you were feeling heavy. You were just feeling a certain way. But you are cleansed. Sawadi so says she's yawning. Josh is yawning. Doris, deep yawning and loud bopping. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. Are you guys seeing it? Somebody's yawning. Rhoda is yawning and farting. Yawning and farting. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody says she's shaking. Wow. My God. You will feel so light when you are done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I also feel heat in my stomach. Wow. It's cleansing. Cleansing is taking place. Cleansing is taking place. Even you, somebody, I'm hearing that your metabolism will begin to work properly. It's like for some time you just eat and the food stays there. Like it's not going anywhere. Mm. But you are free now. You are free. Wow. Somebody says, Lauren said, my back felt so heavy. I'm walking around now and I'm feeling light. Hallelujah. Mm. You are free in Jesus' name. Wow, wow, wow. My God. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
Wow. People are still yawning all. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Edwina said, I feel light in my stomach. That's right. It's cleansing that is taking place. Some of you will feel this fire from your belly. Fire coming from your belly, in your body. Like somebody rubbed you icy hot or something. You'll feel this fire. Fire. Somebody yawned nine times already. My God. Martha said, I'm yawning. I can't stop yawning. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. No more heaviness. In Jesus' name. Wow. Kelly Annabelle, your womb is healed in the name of Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> wow. I'm reading the comments. Wow. Wow. Someone said they are still yawning. Distance is not a barrier. That's right. Lulu said instant healing. Thank you. Hallelujah. God is here with us. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Even somebody that did not expect to yawn, you started yawning too. And you will feel light because something is coming out of you. It's cleansing. It's cleansing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You'll feel so light. you even sleep well tonight. That heaviness has made it hard for you to even sleep. It caused depression and all that, but you are free. You are free in Jesus' name. Let us know how you feel, the ones that tap into this prayer. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Wow. Somebody said they yawned like 12 times already. <laughs> wow. Burping and yawning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yerebosia, Yekete Bosia, Randele Bosia, Hey, Rakata Yababa, Sente Yababa, Robasi Kele Conte Le Basson Diarando, Ketaya Kataya Baba, Resete Terando, Robosia, Rarabosia, Iraba Shantaya Kandia Hondokia. Brahe kosi kia kadosia, breake tondi le kande le kasi pele le bosia. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rasaka ya baba, rege dosia. I'm hearing that some somebody here. Whenever you close your eyes to sleep. You always have nightmares. The moment you close your eyes to sleep, it's nightmares. In fact, it's, it's cutting to the point that you don't even like to sleep. You're afraid to go to sleep. Whenever you close your eyes to sleep, guaranteed nightmare. I want to pray for you. If that's you, type me. Type me. You, Whenever you close your eyes to sleep, it's always nightmare. You're always having bad dreams. People chasing you. People trying to kill you. Trying to hurt you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Somebody here. Every time you close your eyes to sleep. It's nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I want to pray for you. And you will never have those nightmares again. Your dream life will be restored. Wow. I heard it clearly. And when you sleep, there's always nightmares. 
In fact, you already know that when you close your eyes, it's a nightmare. They've attacked your dream life. Now they are tormenting you. I used to dream good dreams before. Oh, look at the guy we're talking about. Isn't that him? That's the one that was saying that had the ear thing, right? Let's see. <laughs> we didn't even know it was coming up soon. Fast up. Wow, so many people say me, me, me. Sometimes it's nightmares. You think it's just dream, but it's a, it's attack. Yeah. It's attack. And every time you're having those dreams, an attack is on the way. Yeah. I'm telling you, uh, it's either something you will get sick or yes. something bad or a blessing will be blocked or something or accident or something or something. Yeah. But I want to pray for you now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You put your right hand on your forehead. For those of you that are having nightmares all the time, I want to pray for you right now. Rapalebo sibre katosa, hira kande kundi ya baha sindi ya kundi, rase prahaha. Make sure your eyes are closed. Whenever I'm praying for you, don't open your eyes. It causes distraction. Oh yes, Lord. You spirit of nightmare. You spirit that has hijacked their dream life. That is now tormenting them through dreams. It's time for you to go. Your time is up. Now pack all your things and leave them. Go back to hell where you belong. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. You witch. You wizard. Chasing them in the dream. Fighting them in the dream. Biting them in the dream. Feeding them in the dream. Giving them injection or whatever it is. It's time for you to go. Out of them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire all over you wherever you are. You witch. You wizard. That keeps tormenting this one. It's time for you to burn. Fire all over you. Confess and die. In the name of Jesus. Now. From today on, you that have your hand on your head. Ha ha. Ha. You will never have those dreams again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your dream life is restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will only have dreams that God is showing you. Yes. In Jesus name. No more nightmare. No more eating in the dream. No more people chasing you in the yes. dream. In the name of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. Yes. I soak your children. Yes. Your family. In the blood of Jesus. I cancel whatever they have done to you yes. in the dream. In the name of Jesus. I destroy whatever power they put in you. Yes. Whatever evil they planned against you. Yes. I destroy yes. in the name of Jesus. I command your destinies to be restored. Yes. In the name of Jesus. You will live long. You will not die before your time. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Total restoration. Whatever yes. they've stolen from you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. If they close your eyes. Yes. Your spiritual eyes. I command them open. If they close your spirit, your ears, I command them open. Yes. In the name of Jesus. If they stole any gift from you, it's restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free. You will begin to sleep well. No more nightmares. And you will remember your dreams in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free. Hallelujah. Pastor, is there any category of people you want to pray for that you're hearing? You know, when you're calling um, dreams, talking about nightmares i was hearing about people that once they shut their eyes they always see snakes mm -hmm. they always see snake snake in your dreams you always see particularly snake sometimes it's not even you're not dreaming once you close your eyes you see snake that's another very serious case that needs to be dealt with snakes if you're that person comment i always see snakes or me i see snakes he say once you close your eyes Sometimes you're not dreaming. You're not even dreaming. Just you see snakes. You see snakes. We want to pray for you. That's serpentine. Yes. I think we even addressed that in the program. Too. Yes, you did. It's a wow. very serious, very serious case. And you know, sometimes when they start seeing snakes, like, sometimes they see it in real life. Yes. Yes. Like everywhere they go, they are seeing snakes. Yes. Snakes will start manifesting. There are some people, there's a lady that told me some years ago, she said anywhere she goes, lizards follow her. Wow. Anywhere she goes, lizards follow her. Also, your head is not showing in this video. Anywhere she goes, she said lizards follow her. These are deep spiritual stuffs, but these things are happening. 
Lizards seem to be very demonic. Yeah, very, very demonic. When people say they see it in the house, like, a lot. Lucy Webb says, moving in my head, moving in she my belly. have the uh, video sent. Alexi Obui says, I see snakes. Okay. Let me see. Alexis, let us know if you want us to invite you. Oh, Diana says, yes, true. I had a dream about an accident with a white car and the girl died. And now today I had an accident with a white car and God saved me. Wow. Wow. My God. Thank God for your life. Thank God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank God that you are alive. Oh. The devil is a bastard. The devil is a bastard. Somebody said, I keep seeing flying frog. Hmm. I've not heard that one. Oh. You saw snake one, so let's address the snake mm -hmm. one. Because snake you say for now you want to obey. Yes, sir. You just want to obey. You just want to call another one. <laughs> wow. Clary says, I once dreamt of a snake in my dream and it bit my nose. I have been sick ever since. Let me invite this one. Yes, yes, do. Wow. Wow, Clary. Inviting you now, sweetie. Make sure you are ready for this call. Hallelujah. God bless you, sweetie. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Is this your first time watching? Uh, it's actually my second time. Okay, so you have faith to be healed or delivered, right? Yes. And where are you watching from? I'm from South Africa. Oh, you are in South Africa right now? Yes. Do you have a lot of followers there? No. Okay, so tell us what's going on. What happened? What you wrote? Okay, so I'm originally from Zimbabwe. So last year I went home and uh, as I was home, I had a dream. I was like... There was a snake in our kitchen and then it was, I think it was black and then it came and bite my nose. And then ever since I've been, I've not been feeling well. And how, you say how, how long ago was that? It was last year. So mm -hmm. when you say not feeling well, what kind of sickness is mm -hmm. it? Uh, my whole body, like it depends. Like sometimes I'm having headaches. Sometimes like I'm having uh, muscle pains and all. Right now, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, I think now for now, I think my body is just, <clears throat> everything is painful. Like I just feel pain and heaviness on me, like most of the time. Okay. Okay. Now you said you, it happened after the dream you had, you woke up and you were yes. then. Yes. After the snake bit you in a dream. Yes. And right now, you said you're feeling like pain in your body. You're feeling heavy. Yes. Where can yes, you check? I've not been my, I've not been myself ever since. Like I'm always negative and all that. Like. Okay, where exactly do you feel the pain right now in your body? For now, I think it's my chest. Your chest. So right yes. now, you're feeling pain in your chest. Yes. And my neck. And your neck. You're yes. feeling pain in your neck right now. Yes. Okay. All right. Say, Jesus, deliver me seven times. Close your Jesus. eyes. Go on. Okay. Go on. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, wait, wait, deliver wait, wait. me. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> Don't rush it. You're talking Jesus. to Jesus. <laughs> okay. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. I'm gonna ask God. I'm, I'm gonna push my faith a little. It's because she's not been watching. Yeah, because Twitter she's not first. been watching. This is your second time. When people don't watch the videos, they don't know how we do yeah, things. Yeah, how we operate. You have to say from your heart, Jesus deliver me. Like, okay. Don't do rush it, sweetie. Okay. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. 
Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, from now, don't say anything except I ask you. Close your eyes. Shut your eyes. Close your eyes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, on your head, I command fire. Every effect of the snake, I command fire. In your chest, in your neck, all over your body, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ron Zipratikos Ambelokus Efemonoku Dabara Distopat Zegotema Lobrekia Shostepaha. I command fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire on that poison. Fire on that poison in the name of Jesus. You spirit of witchcraft, I command fire. Spirit of witchcraft, I command fire in the name of Jesus. I command fire in the name of Jesus. I command fire in the name of Jesus. There is somebody you refused to give money to when you went home. Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> huh? a lot of people... Yes, I think so, because there were a lot of people that were asking me for money. So, I don't remember who specifically. Okay, don't, worry, don't worry. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, they came to attack you in a snake as a snake. In the name of Jesus, you wicked, I, I want that poison to go back to the sender. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want that poison to go back. Just don't send me quiet if I ask you a question. I want that poison to go back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Out! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just hear in my spirit, she's free. Now move your neck. Amen. Move your neck. Thank you, Lord. What do you feel? I feel light now. Feel light. Hallelujah. Check the chin. Thank you, Jesus. It's, the pain is gone. It's gone. Wow. Yes. <laughs> my God. Move your body. Just move your whole body. Move your body. <laughs> yes, I feel so light right now. Oh, and I was feeling <laughs> tired. <laughs> mm. I feel so energetic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Witchcraft, eh? Yeah. Witchcraft. Very... You are free in Jesus' name. Your wow. deliverance is permanent. Oh God, this ministry Thank that God you. has given to you is a great ministry because many people, most people, a lot of people watching these videos, they live in foreign countries, people in America, especially people in Europe. And for some reason, you have to go to Africa or you have people in Africa or things, people like, you know, things like that. And we have people who are envious and jealous. Yes. And, you know, jealousy is the beginning of witchcraft. Yes. Yes. It's the beginning of witchcraft. And so people are evil. You know, for your own money, people hating on you and want you dead, want you... Oh, but you are free. A ministry like the Thank you. ministry, God has ordained this ministry to protect, cover people. Yes. That's the covering. Don't be afraid of the devil. The devil is a bastard. Anybody that decides to use your own goodwill to do evil against you, they will die. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you wow. Wow. Yeah. Power no be powder. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, man of God. Jesus. That um, she sees a lot of my followers sharing a post from um this fake Princess Belemzi ministry page that they created. And I don't know how you guys follow me, and you don't know when something is not from me. Like why? By now, you guys should know how your woman of God does things, how she sounds. Like this page, all they do is they just prophesy. They just prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. 
How many of you are sharing from that page? This one. This page here. That's not my page. Wait, this fake page cannot be reported. I don't know. They, they post picture of me, say, I prophesy to 700 people. I don't sound like this. Man, you guys are not really my followers. Like, this is not how I sound, guys. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> I don't talk like this. Like, so many people are sharing the, this thing. It's a fake page. My real ministry page has almost 90,000 followers. This one is only... How many thousand? Like, only 600 followers or something. This is my ministry page. This one. This one. And I don't... Most of the things you see on there, you see from my page. I don't prophesy to people, 600 people. Stop sharing it. Like, I see so many of you two doing it. Like, you guys, eh? Don't just share everything. Can't you, like, look and see that this is not the woman of God? You're helping the scammers grow the page. Because you keep sharing it to people's messages, doing all that. You're helping them get popular. Mm -hmm. Stop it. You know, you are so quick. Somebody said, yes, they are quick to say amen. It's true. A lot of you, some of you commenting now. In fact, let me go there and start calling out your names. That's what we should do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I see a lot of you. A lot of you. A lot of you do it. And you not only do it, you start sending it to other people. You send it to people. It's not right. It's not my page. Let me go there now. They even put my picture yourself. They have 800 and something, this thing. That's not even me. And they're using pictures from when I used to do that business from home. <laughs> my old pictures. <laughs> this is not even me. They have one with me and you. Right. They say that as as you are... This is not even me. I don't even sound like this. <laughs> wow. That's why they'll be asking you guys for money. I'm seeing. Wow. Look at the names. We have people that post scriptures on my video. S C H R O. Boom. Even evangelist Victoria Hooks like it. So many people. My God. B. Irene Joseph. Okay, she said, please, this is not woman of God's page. She was warning people. All right, I see. But I see a bunch of your names on here as well. You guys should stop sharing things. Read first. Well. Uh-huh. Meta told them, please don't be deceived. You know when your woman of God speak. This is fake. Spirit of the summit. Okay, good. That one is speaking out for me. Wayne Gordon. Pastor, right? Pastor Wayne Gordon. He says, this is a fake page. This is not woman of God's page. God bless you. Angel Zina told them, people are still on here responding, amen. When there is a warning, it's a fake page. They don't read no warning. And they share it a lot. My God. Eunice Prosper told them, Woman of God does not prophesy like that. John 10, 27, 28. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. See, people are warning them. I see a lot of you warning them. That's good. <laughs> it is well. My God. They have so many of my pictures. Though, prophesying to you guys. Yay. They even have the one with me and my girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. And then they will start messaging you guys to send them money for orphanage mm, in Nigeria. Orphanage, yeah. Anybody that know me know I don't solicit for money like that. In fact, if anything, I give money. I don't really be begging for money like that and pushing you to give. Maybe you don't watch the video. That's why. You don't know. If you watch the videos, you will know it's not me. It is well. God bless you. And even the Instagram. On my Instagram, my name there is Princess Belemzi. Basically, if anyone message you, is telling you they see, they are seeing something about your life. They are seeing, it's not me. The people that ever message me, I hardly respond because you see how busy I've been this weekend. 
We've been having 12 hour, 12 hour program two days in a row. But even while I'm at that program, they are still sending some of you yes. messages with my name. And you guys are still thinking it's me, but you see me live holding microphone <laughs> on stage preaching. <laughs> I don't know how people do this thing though. <laughs> it's not me, yo. <laughs> We keep saying it. We keep saying it. Huh? Uh, somebody said, I was deceived too. That man was me. I was deceived too. I'm so sorry, my God, Almighty, I'm a woman of God. Uh -huh. A lot of you, I see you guys sharing this stuff. You're helping them, like, promote the page. It's not me. Study me very well. I don't roll like that. Okay. Uh-huh. It is well. A lot of those people that are creating these pages, they will die. Some of them will even come here and confess. Their time is coming. I say a lot of them will die. And it will be a very bad death. Their belly will rise and burst. So don't help them promote the fakeness. Read closely. My real Princess Belemzi ministry page. As of right now, we have over 80,000. If you check it now, you will see. We have always check it we have 85,000 85,000 likes right now we are promoting the page and soon we'll get to 1 million so don't just go to any page that has 100 people 500 people and be sharing things from them those are not my pages it is well God bless all of you let me see all right, so we still got time. Right now, I want to take one or two testimonies and then we'll pray again for people. If you're here and you have a testimony, somebody was messaging me that she had a testimony. I don't know if she's still watching. If you're here and you have a testimony, let me know. As far as Instagram, they've been, they go on my Instagram, they start clicking on all the people that are following me and they start messaging them. Just block or report them. I'm not the only one they do this to. They do this to Prophet T.B. Joshua. They even do that to my bishop. Mm -hmm. They do that to my cousin, to Pastor Isaac, and to Bishop Blessing. They do it to so many men of God that are like popular these days. So you will get the same message with another name of man of God. It's copy and paste. They just paste it. Okay. Uh huh. Triumphant victory. Say your followers love you so much, but must not be naive. God gives discernment freely. That's right. I like that. Please, oh, mm. it is well. <laughs> Somebody, are you praying for water? <laughs> that one is not their business. All they want is water. <laughs> they want water right now. Pray for water. We have a three-minute video where we we'll prayed for water now. You guys, I told you, save that video. Huh? Hallelujah. Somebody said they want to share this video, but there's no share button. I think you have to come out and go to my page and share it. And also, my assistant was telling me that yesterday, she noticed that Facebook unfollowed her from my page. And my mother also complained a few days ago. That Facebook has unfollowed her from my page more than six times. I don't know why they do that. So you want to make sure you're checking my page all the time to see that you're still following me. And actually, Mima was showing something. Mima, uh, Mima was showing something. She, she showed something. If you go to my new if you go to my page you will see something like this right let me see if I can show you on my page I want to show you guys how to see my post quickly okay mm. pastor maybe I should try it on your page okay let's say that there's a way you can do okay like if you go to the page pastor I wasn't even following you oh my god I just click follow on your own they all followed me from your page too yeah. I just click your name and I had to click follow. They said on news feed, if you go to news feed and you can click on the person, wait, you can see first or something. Oh man. 
Mima, how did you do that thing? You can click see first or something. So you can be seeing my posts first once you log into your Facebook. Like once you go on your news feed, you'll see my post. I don't know why Facebook is doing this. I have over 100,000 followers and a lot of them don't even know when I'm live. They know later when we're done. Some of them are upset. They're like, please call me when you're live. I'm like, how am I going to do that? There's so many of you. <laughs> so please check your page to make sure they've not... Some of you, if you check right now, I'm be I bet you they have unfollowed you from my page. If you check right now, I bet you you've been unfollowed. My mother, they unfollowed her mother six times. My assistant that is always on my page, they just unfollowed her yesterday. So I guess they, they are tired of the traffic on my page or something. Maybe I'm getting too much traffic. So check and make sure. Okay. All right. God bless all of you. Does anyone have a testimony? Let us take a testimony and then we'll pray. Pastor, don't they tire? When I say sleep, don't they catch me? I'm so sleepy now. I think we don't pray already for everybody. In fact, let's get water. Everybody get water. Let me pray so I can go sleep. I just started getting tired all of a sudden. The job has been done now. Yeah, the job has been done, right? I just started getting tired. You know, we just came back after flying for how many hours again? Three, yeah. seven. Yeah. Let, let me just pray for everybody. Get water. Let me bless your water so I can go sleep. I just started getting tired. <laughs> now I realize that I have to sleep. And I can't be hot again, too. And plus, I think me and you laugh too much today. That's why. We were laughing too much. I'm telling you, man. Uh oh. No, my water be that. All right, get water quickly, quick. Let me pray for your water. Um. Somebody said I have three pages. Oh yes, I have um, I have one Princess Belemzi Ministries, and I have two Princess uh, Evangelist Princess Belemzi. One of my Evangelist Princess Belemzi that is. It has 16k that's me yeah and then another one has i think a thousand some those three are mine the evangelist princess belemzi those two of them they were my pages when i was in the wall doing parties i just changed the name i didn't want to delete anyone but most of those ones they are consistent with what i post on my wall and some of the scammers that do it they're actually watching and some of them are not guys they are women that do it so some of them are actually watching but don't worry, they will soon die. Not sick, they will soon die. Yeah. Because they are trying to destroy what my father is building. So they will soon, their time is coming. Yeah. Alright, water is ready. Open it up. Let me pray for it so I can go sleep. We'll continue again when I wake up. I'm working on trying to do a program here in Houston. For those in Philadelphia and Dubai, I put it on hold, but I will announce the new dates. If you, if you, um, if you contributed already for Philadelphia, um, just make sure you have your screenshot ready, and then I will announce the new dates soon. But for now, I'm not coming there this week or next week, but I'm planning to do a small program here in Houston, Texas. Deliverance, healing, and Holy Ghost encounter. I would have loved to do the 24 hours one here, but I don't know a venue yet that I could use. So if I'm not able to find a venue for that, I'll just do a 12 hour one here. Because you know, I, I have people in Houston too. And we just want to at least not travel for now. Let's just rest. This traveling takes a lot out of us. Even right now, I'm so tired. But God wanted me to come online, so. And also, if you're here and you haven't received or accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, before I bless this water, I want you to say the salvation prayer after me. If you're ready to repent and leave for Christ, because nobody knows tomorrow. Anybody can just die at any time. Heaven and hell, eh? <laughs> they are very real. Don't listen to all these people deceiving you. We don't know what will happen to us any minute from now. So say this prayer after me. Say, Father, Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. 
I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you say this prayer, just put your hand on your forehead like this, your right hand. Now be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive the gift of tongues, a fresh anointing, fresh fire and power. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now you can raise your water up. If it's bottle, open it up. I want to pray for your water. I command everybody's water to turn into the blood of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I release the fire, the grace, the power, the anointing that is upon my life. I release it into your water in the name of Jesus. As you drink it, miracles will happen in Jesus' name. It is no longer ordinary water. It is now miracle water, deliverance water, anointed water, healing water, the blood of Jesus. Drink it and begin to testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. It is done. So once I get um, the Houston, by, when I wake up, I'll be looking for a venue. If you live in Houston, you can come. I don't want to do something so big. But then again, people always travel and come. I just wanted something small here. But Philadelphia should be happening soon. But I will announce the date soon. But Houston will be probably in two weeks. In two weeks time. So get ready to come to Houston um, soon. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. We love you. If you are led to give an offering, I will post my PayPal or Cash App or the Nigerian Bank Info. So you can give your offering. God bless all of you. I love you. I just got tired. I think what I came for has been done. So I just got tired. <laughs> God bless you. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.